Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays The Last Spell. So here we are on night two, or well, it's about to be night two. Coming from the northeast, I think we're pretty well prepared. Didn't get much in the way of equipment upgrades, but we did get level ups and everyone's looking pretty good. Ah, coming from up there. Well, 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 okay. Um, so we can switch to our dagger. Throwing dagger. All right, so you do have a ranged attack now, essentially. We could also do poison daggers, multi hits. So it's basically thrown daggers, but with more. I'm going to wait until like we get some denser people. I think actually this might be a better turn just to reposition. Because, yeah, if we go, well, if we go here, you can come up and smack. But right here is safe. But I don't know if that'll be close enough, but that's okay. Not quite enough. Of course, we could just go up here, throw our daggers. Or, yeah, he can't come up and, and do anything to us if we kill them first. Yeah, stepping forward one puts us in risk. Yeah, so we'll just want to step back. Uh, and we can swim up back here. Yeah, let's get let's get our uh, war scream off. Yeah, not really a good spot for all this. So I think we're gonna just pop our armor back up a little bit. We want to make sure Sanet gets some more kills here. This guy can go decently far. We can go here. That's good enough for me. Nope, no need to no need to bust out the orb yet. Hmm, tough little bugger. Back to your grave. And yeah, why not? Now Ruth What's the distance on this? We need to get you more skill distance here. If we go all the way over here, oh, just one short, but this is gonna be one heck of a pistol shot with 11 points of momentum. Boom! Worth it. And take a step back. Actually, hang on, before we do that, uh, anyone else in range? I mean, we could, if we step forward, yes. I don't think anyone's coming from here, but I could be very wrong. Yeah, let's take a step back. We'll pop our defense. That's yeah, more like it. Okay, so. I think we want to, hmm. I definitely want to start hewing my way through these guys. Yeah, that could be a thing. I mean, throwing axe is pretty good too. But hang on. What happens if we use Putrid Ball to do the debuffing here? Little teamwork action. I mean, we're not hitting anyone directly, unfortunately, unless we go back here. Now we're hitting people directly. Boom! All right, so here's a thought. So what if we go here, we do our dagger, we can hit several targets 
but mm, none of the ones who aren't already poisoned. Man, I wish I had taken septic shock. Hmm, I could go over this way, but that would put me a little pre a little dangerously close to the horde. That, that would use up five of my nine movement. I'd have enough to get out of there, but then I wouldn't be re really be able to follow up very effectively. All right, so here's what we're going to do. You, I am going to cut some room here. And then I guess we'll... I mean, are they... Is that going to... It doesn't look like it's going to kill them. I mean, that's a, that's a way to do it. That would use up... Yeah, we can do that. Might as well get you guys all debuffed. And then we can take out these two. Oh. Well, that's just rude. That's really just rude. How am I supposed to follow up and have my nice little cleave? Read zombie. I'd move up here and just hack at these three, but that's not going to go end too well. I might just go for a singleton stab here and then retreat because these guys are technically isolated all right well Wilkins seem to like that let's get out of here uh, let's get out of dodge um oh you still have one point left get rid of the rude one And then back off. Now you, Ruth. We kill you. We take a pistol shot here so that isolates this guy. And then another one up here. got what five points that's enough and then all the movement in the world to get the heck out of dodge let's move you over here to start dealing with these guys that poison put going doing some work all right, this is just like axe, axe right here. All right, 12 movement. So here's what we're going to do. Now this might be a little bit overkill. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna get line these four up. Well, actually, no. We're gonna go here. One, two, three, four. Switch the axe. Scream. 
slice. Back to the dagger. Oop, and missed that one. All right, get it, get out of there. All right, um. Now if I go here, yes, I can cross that. So what happens if I, if I, assuming I can hit this guy. There we go. Should be able to ice this guy. We've got a really, really big and we've got some guys coming here though. I wish we had a longer range option because I think this person would come nibble on them. Let me just see what the range looks like. Yeah, we could ice somebody, but then we might get nibbled on. But if it's just one and she's got armor, I apologize in advance if you get nibbled on, Ruth. All right, this is this right here is screaming. Actually, we could do a death ray and just go blah. But no, I think I think the um, poison orb here is the correct answer. Just get that poison damage ticking. Um, yeah, we'll take you on. And now you die to poison. Hmm, didn't go through the armor. That's fine. This guy we need to be mindful of. I think going back here is safe. All right, that's everybody. And turn. Aha! We we only got we got missed. Miss me with that. Not technically isolated. All right, this right here is like an axe dream because these two are going to die. So no, these three are going to die. These four or five are going to die from poison. So this one right here. While not isolated, they could certainly... Ooh, did not kill them. Well, first off, let's just pop you. Swap you back here. There we go. Oh, wow. That didn't kill either. Yeesh. Um...
Possibility. We could do another scream to get more debuffs flowing around here. That might be the correct answer. There we go. And now let's get the heck out of Dodge. All right, armored. I don't want to pop a whole poison just for one armored guy, but I know just trying to wear him down by himself is not going to not going to work out that well. I need to secure her some more kills, so let's work on that. And actually, if you're gonna if we're gonna have someone do some mop up to get some kill credit. There we go. That's better. And you still have you still have things to go. Maybe you can help us out. Cuz this guy's now isolated. Um 8 would if we could secure the kill on him. Let me see what the calc says. Yeah, it says I'm not going to finish him off so well that is going to finish him off but now I don't have anyone to grab to get out of there so let's revert try a different approach let's go over here what about grabbing you doesn't work I could do a grape shot over to here well, maybe I, maybe I don't need to get too fancy with the hook. Yeah, what if I just move a whole bunch of spaces? Hell no, because then they're going to start nibbling. I think, well, see, this one's going to nibble over here. This is not a good spot. Go over here, this horde's gonna get at them. And I don't wanna waste my attacks on these guys because they're all gonna just die anyway. You know what, let's just go here. We're just gonna use the pistol. We go right here and we use the pistol. And we use the pistol. There we go. Oop, all right, one nibble. Oop, or not. All right, these two are going to die of poison, so that's good. That's a perfect orb right there. But then again, we might not need to wait for the poison damage. We could just hew through them with the axe. Uh, let's see, we're at 51 of 55. So we can we can spend some more. We can drop another orb to get the debuffs flowing. You're going to need to move up for line of sight. That's beautiful. Boom. And if, if she leaves any of them unkilled, the poison will finish them off. So 
Lice! Yeah, see? These guys with like one or two hit points? They're poisoned. I don't need to waste time with them. So lice! Slice. Oh, few hit points. That don't matter to me. And actually, this guy right here, swap to our dagger. He's isolated. Stab. That was a good turn. And just for safe measures, let's get that dodge up. All right, you. I think she gets credit for all the poison kills if she's the one that drops the poison on them. You can go over here. Fortunately, there's nobody else I can really target. Blech. Another missed. Well, that's because we procked the dodge. That helped our dodge chances here. Uh, yeah, only five people left. So these are the final five of the night. All right. So we don't need to spend more mana at this point. I think I might... Again, trying to farm up some kills. You are at 20 or 29, so we do not want to spend any more mana. You are 27 of 27. You have not spent any mana. Um, I mean, we don't really need to use the grape shot. She's gotten a lot of kills, so I think I want... Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna tag team this. That won't kill, but the pistol will. There we go. Beautiful. Everyone gets levels. 166. Still a little behind, but still enough to get the level, which is good. No panic whatsoever. Uh, Night Survivor, Murder, Bleach. Yeah, Poison. 1,200 Opportunism. Negative, Special Moves, Charge. Looking good to me. Aha, so now we've got it from two angles. But let's see what we can do with our Econ. Let's just get our meta unlocks here. Rejoice. Oh, I guess we got to reveal here. Uh, let's see. Cloth armors. Oh, from doing our dodge chances. Um, have a hero travel 20 tiles in a single turn. Huh. We must have been doing a lot of zipping around there. Well, okay. 
I'll unlock other stuff with that. I might want to save those up. All right, level ups. So, Wilkins, we are still looking for... Um, we're still looking for our uh, uh, opportunism here. None of these are really talking to me. They're all common tier. I might spend one reroll for the primaries. Hmm. Dodge is a thing. I wouldn't mind some extra dodge because you're in melee a lot. Resistance reduction reduces their the enemy's resistance. Now we're gonna go dodge. Um, no, not isolation. Uh, daily mana regen is nice because we can spam out our mana powers a little. Oh, poison damage. What am I? What do I? You know, if we're not gonna get uh, opportunism, we can do poison damage. Because we're already at 130 here. And let's look at our perks. The end of the hero's turn, apply 40 poison to all enemies within a range of three. That's kind of fun. Um, there's also the septic shock, which actually, even though it's another tier one, we might want to take it. Um, because... We have two sources of poison and just doubling up on poison. Uh, spiky counter, no. Magic fuel, no. Not mark. Not first blood. Extra bag equipment slots. Not glass cannon. Avid Learner, however, is an important one. Because the extra XP gain can mean extra levels, and if you're going to take it, you want to take it now. I might take Avid Learner now, but I'm going to circle back to the poison ones here. Epidemic, and yeah. Yeah, we'll start at Avid Learner, but we're going to go further. All right, Sanat. Uh, let's go for your stats. Health, no. Mana, no. Let's do a reroll. Let's do a reroll. Accuracy, I'll take accuracy. Uh, daily mana regen in blue? Absolutely, freaking lutely yes. I mean, poison damage is also um, big, but you're she's, she's one that's going to use a lot of stuff. We want the mana regen. Especially in blue. All right, let's see your perks. Yeah, you don't even have the poison tree, unfortunately. You also could get Avid Learner. Uh, contamination, Contagion, allows you to... When a unit dies, all of its negative alterations are applied to two random adjacent units that are not already contagious. Stun can transfer, but still fail because of stun resistance. That's really freaking good. Um, we're going to take that probably after Avid Learner. Because, yeah, we're just going to get, like, a the, the whole team's kind of kind of centering around this poison here. All right. Ruth. What do we got? Extra critical. Um, I mean, a pistol is not a crit-based weapon, but it certainly doesn't complain about having crit. Then again, more move points. <laughs> um, that does play into the pistol. I mean, yeah, we gotta. We're gonna lean into that real hard. Oh God, more momentum damage. I know we have reliability in blue, but holy crap, more momentum damage.
that stacks with our the momentum on our equipment. All right, let's see what we got here. More avid learners, probably what we're taking. Uh, nimbleness, more move points. Um, you also get contamination. Mark, critical runes, bodybuilder. I mean, nimbleness is not a bad thing. Uh, but first things first, avid learner. All right, let's um, let's see our nightly reward. Ooh, new pistol, critical power, critical power. I kind of wish I had taken that blue critical upgrade because that was critical rate. Um, so critical power just means we do more damage when we crit. Uh, Holy Ring, minus armor, healing received, accuracy, stabilized. Nah, we don't have any tank tanks. Um, extra armor, dodge, resistance. Yeah, I think the pistol is the correct answer here. It's just a straight upgrade. And then we'll build for crit later on. And yeah, I'm not gonna blow all of my money on, on buildings. Just a significant part of it. So here, what we're gonna do is we're going to upgrade the mine. We've already upgraded its production. If we upgrade it once, um, it requires only uh, one worker to work one f production cycle of it. And if we upgrade it again, then we get to use the production phase twice. Now we can use two workers and each time they do an extra cycle of the mine. So that's 40 gold. Now, um, I kind of want to build another gold mine because we can sort of like cy quick cycle it all, but still have some for the stash. So let's go for one more gold mine. We upgrade the production, upgrade the workers twice, we work the workers and we're back up to 100 gold. Now we could, well before we, we spend this 100 gold on more building stuff, let's check the shop. Because oh my god, I am glad I checked the shop. Those are some pants. Um, ooh, opportunism, poison damage. I don't care about that. Oh man. Yes. Holy crap, yes. Um, longbow. Isolation bonus. The scepter is a another momentum based item. Poison da damage. Oh man, this one's good too. Even though it's not green or blue, that's poison damage. And we don't care about propagation bounces because we're not using propagation. Plus, plus 10 mana? What do you got? Uh, teleportation, nah. Toma Secrets, not going that route. Uh, potions, potion of stone, potion of speed. Fire thrower scroll. Ooh, a new axe with some stun chance on it. That's actually really, really good for um, when we get the, cause hang on, Wilkins, Wilkins, Wilkins. Wilkins, you have access to, yeah, the septic shock. So that stun will come into effect when we take that perk. So yeah, this shiny new axe, well, rust this shiny rusty axe. Hmm, but then again, it might 
behoove me to. Hold my cash. His dagger's really, really something too. Uh, but we already have one. It's nice, but it's not worth that much money. I kind of want to hold out for a higher tier axe. 62 to 93 base damage. What is your... It's the same base damage. So you know what? I don't know if it's worth the price. So what I'm going to do is... Well, first, let's equip our people. Um, you are going to get these fantastic pants. Because that extra opportunism plus the extra mana doesn't hurt. Um, yeah, you're not really rocking the poison as much. I mean, you are kind of, but it's uh, we want Sanat to have the warlock cloak here. Yeah, you don't need the pistol so much as you need this pistol. And now these two things here, so here we go. We sell these two pieces of junk. That brings us uh, over 40, which means we can upgrade a house to get one more worker. And then that worker can be used to, do we have any good, we don't actually have any good cor corpse piles. Actually, we don't have any corpse piles at all. I guess they were killed too spread out, but that's okay. We can salvage like a random, you know, gold focus here just to get a little bit more money. Not much we can do with 15 gold unless a you know, potion of health. Eh, maybe, but there's better things we can do. There's also a heavy worn cloth item. Nah, not worth the... F I'm going to save the money. Uh, for materials, uh, let's see. We're being attacked from these two angles. So let's get a ballista here. And let's get a ballista here. Hmm, one short of, uh... Yeah, it's all right, we'll live. All right, folks, so in our next episode, we will see if we can survive night three. If you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, Spin Pinstar signing out. See ya.